Sunday in Ordinary Time, and today we meet a Pharisee and a tax collector standing before God in prayer. Two very different styles of prayer. The Pharisee, whose job it was, was to know the scriptures, to know the law, and to help others know the law and live by the law. Many Pharisees, though, got a little bit too zealous and had too much certitude about what was good and what was bad, what was right and what was wrong, and liked to kind of do, do this or judge this through externals, pietistic practices, a lot of look at me and see how good I am, and holding others accountable. You know the stories of the Pharisees and how many times they tried to trip up Jesus with the letter of the law. But Jesus always lived by the spirit of the law and always led with love, compassion, and mercy. Pharisees didn't always do that. And as we hear this Pharisee pray today, his prayer is all about, look at me, God, look how good I am, I do everything right. He was really touting his own horn in very solid righteousness. But he had forgotten, he had forgotten that God is God and he is not. But the tax collector, the tax collector, on the other hand, who was hired by the Romans to collect the tax. But see, tax collectors weren't given a salary. Their income came from the money that they put on top of the tax, the fees. And some of them put very exorbitant fees and were ruthless in how they collected those taxes and those fees. And it seems that the tax collector in today's reading recognize that, whoa, I have done some things that I probably shouldn't have done. I can be pretty ruthless. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me. Help me, if you will, remember that you are God and I am not, and I might need to change some of my ways. Maybe today's gospel reading is to really kind of inviting us to look at who we are, do we get a little too self-righteous? Is it too easy for us to judge ourselves and to judge others? We have the right way. We think the right way. We act the right way, and you do not. And if you don't think like me, then you are wrong, and I am right. Or are we like the tax collector, we screw up, we get a little greedy, get a little powerful, then we can, we can come in our prayer and we can stand before God and we can let him show us those mistakes, show us those errors, and we can change. Because what is prayer? Prayer is standing naked before God. This is who I am, Lord. This is where I need some help. What is it you want to do with me today? And maybe it's a chance for us to think about our prayer life. Do we do all the talking when we pray like the Pharisee? We get in the limelight and we do all the talking. Look at me, God, this is this wonderful, how wonderful I am. Or are we willing to say, okay, God, I tried. I'm trying to do my best. I screwed up. I messed up. Help me see myself through your eyes. Help me notice your mercy, your forgiveness, and your love, and call me into transformation. We really don't know in these Gospels where, what happened with the Pharisee or the tax collector, but we do know that their prayer styles were quite different. We don't want to be like the Pharisee, or do we? And we don't want to be necessarily like the tax collector. We don't want to be ruthless. We don't want to be arrogant. We don't want to be demanding. But sometimes we are. And it's only with God's help that we can change that. Are we willing to look at ourselves through God's eyes, but to look at ourselves honestly so that we can grow and change and be transformed? 
What gets in our way? What causes us to be too certain, too judgmental, too negative, too demanding, too overwhelming for others? How do we open our hearts in prayer before God? And then, how do we listen? How do we listen to what God's response is? I'm not sure the Pharisee was listening to anyone. And I'm not sure that the tax collector was really ready to change. But he was open to hearing and he was open to recognizing. Are we open? Because God is God and we are not. And God can transform us if we come before him with an open heart. Take a walk with the Lord today and see what he might want to show you, what he might want to say to you. Amen.